Godfather of Harlem, they dropped the trailer. Let's take a look because me and Larry swear that y'all missing out on one of the best shows on TV right now. Yeah. Here's a look. Godfather of Harlem, season two, April 18th. You guys been trying to kill me for months. I'm here. Bumpy Johnson's gonna be dead by the end of the day. The new world is here, my brothers. And I gotta fight for what's mine. He should die like a dog! Y'all know how the saying goes. Harlem is mine. Open up my window again. You're a black supremacist, and I'm a white supremacist. We have more in common than you think. Black man's angry, white man's scared. You and me are gonna be at war till one of us is dead. Every one of these men will die for what they believe. Are your men willing to do the same? The minute the movement turns to violence, we are finished. This is our war of independence. Harlem is mine. We must fight a system of oppression. By whatever means necessary. Time to change it. Every man has a legacy. It's Jay Moore in the building. Jay Mo in the building. Link What's in the description. Link on channel, channel description. Jay Mo, we're just talking about Harlem, Godfather Harlem season two. We'll go ahead and let you go first. What are your thoughts and predictions for this coming season? Man, first off, thanks for having me. Mm-hmm. And uh, definitely, definitely looking forward to that. That's a damn good show. Yeah, dope, man. dope. And it's some of the best shows is always based off of reality, um, just like Snowfall. Um, <laughs> This Bumpy Johnson, real character, and they've got all these real characters and stuff. And so uh, I think it's really going to be I'm looking to see how they're going to try to, you know, make Bumpy uh, protect his territory. I mean, of course, I know the real story, so I know what won't happen. But it's interesting to see because, of course, we don't know the conversations and stuff people had. So that's where they kind of, you know, fill in the blanks and, you know, the creativity come into it. But, uh, mm-hmm. you know, uh, it's definitely good. Forrest Whitaker is, of course, a top-notch actor. Yeah. Um, so, you know, that's that's probably the, one of the big deals that they got for this show going forward is that they got some a great cast. Damn right. <laughs> that's a yeah. good damn cast. Yeah. Larry, Larry, what you think, man, coming off the fact of, the very last episode we saw of this in 2019, you know, Bumpy had to take care of some of that Italian trash that tried to kill and harm his family. And so they <laughs> came and sat his ass down in front of all the Gambinos, all everybody. And basically he admitted to them, he came after me, so I took him out. And you know you got that young guy who wants to just take over Bumpy Johnson territory and Bumpy ain't letting him have it. And basically, he told everybody sitting in front of him, I got XYZ dirt on y'all in a safe somewhere. And if something happened to me, my family, my soldiers ready to run it on you. What are you expecting to happen in this season, Larry? Well, I expect that Bumpy Johnson's going to come out of this all right. I mean, we know how, I know how the, I mean, it's, well, the way they, they always present it that the Italians, you know, the mob have this this code, and one of those things is you don't go after people's families. Mm-hmm. You know, yeah, you don't yeah. go after the wives or kids or anybody. Generally, you don't even go after civilians. You only go after the people in the game. Right. And so, when you go after someone's family and they come back after you, it's 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 free. I mean, it, it's you know, I mean that that's open season on them. You yeah. know, he's not. I don't think it's like in most cases they always say, oh, you got to get permission to go after a made man. I don't think those rules apply when dude goes after your family, mm-hmm. you know? Mm-hmm. So I don't know. It's going to be interesting to see. I mean, but it's not like Bumpy Johnson's an Italian anyway. So those same, you know, those same rules don't apply to him, you know? Mm-hmm. No. So, and this guy it, right here is acting it, his ass off. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. That's Private Pal. Yeah, Private Pal. Yeah. He's been around for a minute in Hollywood. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. That is him. Yeah. And that, that's also Kingpin from Daredevil. Yeah, yeah, acting his ass off. He That's was the one that D'Onofrio. Yeah, he was the one that was like, "We need to get rid of this nigga." Mm-hmm. He and, and 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 he plays that character so well. I'm just gonna tell y'all the truth. 
I hate his ass. <laughs> I hate his yeah, ass. I, I was so happy that his daughter went running off with a black man because that just drove the knife right up his butthole. I hate this guy. And oh, that's right. She, he's the one who had the daughter who was all in love with that with dude. the singer. Yeah. yeah, yeah. She liked that chocolate, Larry. And you know what they say? Once you taste that chocolate. Once you go black, you never nah. go back. Yeah, I know. And she, she got a sweet tooth now. Yeah, man. She got a real sweet tooth. And she's nah. going back. And But the, having said that, I also like the dynamic of how they brought in Cat Clash's Cat Clay and how Bumpy needed to do some convincing with him. And we're going to have these two come back. Plus, so he was power. sleeping with Bumpy wife, too, remember? I remember that. Yeah, man. Well, well no, not Cassius, but who Cassius was fighting. Right, right, uh, right, and, yeah. and that happened in real life, from what right. I understand. That was yeah. a real life story, and you know they had to do some mending the fences. And the actress playing Bumpy's wife, whoa, Nelly, hey, fine boy, whoa, yeah. and that's yeah, his see? daughter, but whoa, yeah. Nelly, oh, see, she that. a knockout. <laughs> yeah, she's a bad mofo. Yeah, yeah man. Yeah. yeah, they gave they gave him a great wife, and this cast is outstanding. Mm -hmm. I mean, yeah. Brother playing Malcolm X hitting the home run. Brother yeah, playing definitely. Senator Powell is hitting the home run. Oh, yeah. And, and, and from what I understand, we're going to get more of how crooked Senator Powell was. Because y'all already seen how, y'all know how politicians do. Yeah. And they are portraying his story very well as being one of the first African-American senators in the United States, period. He had to do some grimy, dirty stuff to get that position. Oh, yeah. And, um... I'm wondering, are they going to play the part where he did stab Bumpy in the back somewhat, but then he turned it around and came back and wound up helping Bumpy. Now, they said that this season he's going to have a little bit more friction with Bumpy, but I guess my question to you, Larry, is do you want to see Bumpy getting a little bit more deeper involved with politics, considering that he's got these Gambinos and Italian families by the balls. They can't do nothing to him. They can try but they can't because he's got those recordings in a vault. Oh uh, yeah, I'd like to see that. I mean, it, it's, you know, I know he's trying to do some stuff with his real estate ventures and, and that's going to take, that's going to take some, some grease in a uh, grease in the path. Sometimes it's, it's, sometimes it's grease and palm. Sometimes it's just simply having leverage over someone else. Yeah. And mm -hmm. I think that helps if you have, if you have a politician in your, uh, you know, on your side. So yeah, I'd like to see him get down with, with, uh, you know, with, uh, Adam Clayton Powell a little bit more. So <laughs> uh, yeah. now let me ask y'all, do you all know where, where that actor that's playing Adam Clayton Powell, where you may have remembered him from? John oh, Carlo. Man, he's been in like every Spike Lee movie ever made. Spike yeah, Lee. Lee. You stepped on Lee. my Jordan's old Larry Bird wearing jersey ass. He, he, <laughs> he's in, he's in, um, he's in, um, what you call it for Disney? Um, he's in the damn, boy. He, I was just about to say he in yeah. the boys too. He, he yeah. got a, a hell of a resume. Yeah, man. Um, yeah, definitely. And he, he plays good villains too. Cause he's yeah. in um, Star Wars. He's in Star Wars. Yeah, he's, he's yeah. Mandalorian. He's in yeah. that. Dude, yeah. dude yeah. can act his butt, and he's playing the hell out of Clayton Powell. Right. And I say and he's he still asking himself, "How come they don't? How come they're no brothers on the wall?" Right, right, right. right. <laughs> <laughs> that would be funny, right there. He about to burn this. We gonna boycott Styles. Uh, we boycott Styles. <laughs> now, now uh, let me ask y'all. Y'all know the uh, connection between uh, Frank Lucas and. Uh, and Bumpy Johnson, you yeah, know, he was he was a driver. Yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. from uh, what was that American Gangster, right? Yeah, yeah, he was a driver, yeah, yeah. yeah. Now I heard that one thing that they might be doing with the show because of the popularity, they might be careening to when Bumpy dies, having the Frank Lucas story told from a different perspective. I would be about that joint. Mm -hmm. I, I would be about too. that joint. I'd be about and that, that would be a great spinoff. It would be a that great spinoff. That would because be because. The, the movie, honestly, the movie was more inspired by the police officer yeah. than it was mm -hmm. by um, Frank Lucas. And Frank right. Lucas even admitted to that. He said they took very little inspiration from his side of the story and took more of the cops. But he said him and the cop are best friends to this day. And, mm -hmm. But the, the one that they're talking about doing 
is potentially if, when they run their course with this, they're going to do a Frank Lucas spinoff. And I'm here for it. I'm here for it. Right. Man. Yeah, definitely. That's I dope. didn't know that, but damn, that would be dope. That would yeah, be dope. Man. And that would, that's how you do a good spinoff right there. Damn right. So, J Mo, tell the people what you've been up to, man. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, we got a Hollywood star on this stage right here. This brother. You know? This brother is big wheeling, big stomping <laughs> everywhere, and he was doing some auditions. J-Mo, tell my people what you're up to. Well, 